Why are the issues um, with glyphosate relevant to the discussion about genetically modified crops? Glyphosate is the chemical name for that compound that mm -hmm. is attributed for herbicidal action. Mm -hmm. The uh, Roundup is a formulated product that includes other components besides just the glyphosate uh, chemistry in order, in order to increase its penetration into plant cells mm -hmm. or its activity as an herbicide. When you have a genetically engineered crop that's resistant to glyphosate, it not only permits the wider use of, of the glyphosate, the extended uh, exposure to it, but it also permits then the application of glyphosate directly on that crop, which many times we're consuming. What you see is that after a period of time of continued use of just one herbicide and increasing rates of that herbicide, which have been very dramatic in the last 10 years, that you see pretty soon that entire groups of organisms just cease to exist in the soil. Now you don't have a void in the soil. Mm -hmm. So that if you pull one group out, you have another group that comes in. You have this uh, very dramatic change in the soil microflora mm -hmm. and that soil biota that affects these soil borne diseases very dramatically. And that's because glyphosate is not only a very powerful herbicide, but it's also a very strong biocide. Mm -hmm. Very selective in the soil, but it stimulates some of our soil-borne diseases. And it also changes the soil microflora that affects nutrient availability then for the crops. One of those critical components in that soil microflora that disappears with glyphosate or is severely suppressed are those organisms that make manganese available for the plant. When manganese is reduced in the plant, again, it becomes very susceptible to this pathogen. And so you have a biological component that is very powerful because of the powerful biocidal effects of glyphosate. And you also have a direct effect of glyphosate as a very strong chelating agent. Now by chelator, we mean that's a chemical that can grab on to a, another micronutrient or other mineral element that's essential for a plant mm -hmm. and immobilize it. And when that's immobilized, then the plant goes into a deficiency or reduced efficiency, so it becomes much more susceptible than for uh, take-all disease as well as many other diseases.